Hey guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an everyday makeup routine. It's very natural, very glowy and simple. I don't wear very much makeup on a daily basis. So it's really easy and I hope you guys like it. So first things first, I'm going to put on some Carmex because my lips are super, super chapped. So I'm going to take my Estee Lauder Double Wear with this Eco Tools um, Beauty Blender and I'm going to go ahead and apply that. This Beauty Blender is dampened by the way. I did wet it before I started to apply this. I kept trying to put this this video off because I was like, I need new makeup, I'm running out of everything, blah, blah, blah. But I mean, it wouldn't be realistic if I was using new products. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I use. But also, disclaimer, I do not know much about makeup other than what I have witnessed people putting on my face or from YouTube videos. So please don't come for me if I'm not doing something right because I really probably am doing Nothing right, but you know, it's fine. I'll say it's blended. Yep, looks pretty blended. Okay, so I'm gonna put my hair up because y'all saw me struggling with my hair all in my face. Oh, I didn't tell you my foundation shade, hold on. So I'm in Desert Beige in the um, Double Wear. So now I'm gonna go in with my Naked Skin by Urban Decay concealer in the shade Medium Light Neutral. And it's a little bit too dark for my skin, but you know, I did this thing where I decided I could go a darker shade and I actually couldn't, but you know, it's fine. So with this darker shade, I go in, well, it's supposed to match my skin tone, obviously, but it doesn't. So, um, I just go and cover any blemishes or any redness. So I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. I'm gonna go ahead and go over those spots that I <laughs> used that concealer because it was way too dark for my skin. It like looks like blotches. So I'm gonna go over it with this Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Wear Concealer in the shade Light, which is lighter than my foundation. I'm also gonna put it on my under eyes. I'm also gonna be highlighting while I'm um, trying to blend this darker and lighter concealer. I put some under my eyes on the bridge of my nose. Oh, a little tiny bit on my Cupid's bow. And then on my um, forehead to highlight. So hopefully this lighter concealer um, cancels out that darker one. And some days I will do this same look, but I won't wear foundation. I'll just wear, I'll just wear concealer. So that's like more of my like lighter everyday makeup. But like if I'm gonna go and um, take pictures or something, then I'm gonna go ahead and put foundation on just to even out my skin tone even more. So now I'm gonna go in with the Hoola bronzer, the one that everyone has. And then I'm gonna go in with this Morphe M177 brush. And this is just what I use for my bronzer. So I'm just gonna like barely barely contour my face like a tiny tiny bit not even a lot and then i'm gonna squeeze the brush and just do this which probably beauty gurus are cringing but you know it's fine and then i'm just gonna put some bronzer all over my face because my skin is so pale and then i'm gonna put some on my neck just just so it blends now I'm gonna go in with my blush. Um, I used the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. I got this so long ago. I don't even know if they still make this honestly, but it's really good. So I use the um, powder blush that they have. And then the, I'm just using this random brush that I got from like TJ Maxx or something. My face like eats blush, so I have to put like an extra amount but I really like that blush um, color because the color is very like neutral and then it also has a little bit of shimmer in it so it's like really nice and glowy I'm going to use this Sonia Kashuk number one two three 
brush. I don't know where I got this from, probably TJ Maxx too. And then I'm gonna go in with this MAC highlighter in the shade Faintly Fabulous. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on the bridge of my nose and then on the tip and then a little tiny bit right here. And then obviously my cheekbones. Sometimes I go way overboard with this, but like it's super nice. When I first bought this highlighter, I literally just went up to the matte counter and they were like, um, can I help you? And I'm like, yeah, I, I just want a highlighter. Like I didn't really know what even highlighter was. I mean, I knew what it was, but I didn't know like what was a good one or anything like that. So I just literally went up there and I was like, yeah, I want a highlighter. So this is what she gave me and I really like it. So now I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and I just have this random, I'm pretty sure this is like Bella Cosmetics from TJ Maxx. Anyways, if you guys have any beauty favorites that you would recommend me trying, um, go ahead and comment those down below because I always wanna try out new stuff. Now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. All I do is use this Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Clear Brow Gel. Clear Brow Gel, that's what it's called. <laughs> so, I just make those like pretty messy. I just comb them straight up and then kinda up and to the side. And then I just go on top and just smooth it down. All right. And now I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of eyeshadow. So I'm not actually gonna use eyeshadow, but I'm gonna use my Hoola bronzer again for um, just a little bit of definition and color. And then I just squeeze the brush like this and put a little bit on my lower lash line. I'm all about simplicity and like reusing products because especially when I'm traveling, I don't, I can't bring a bunch of eyeshadow palettes and things like that. So I just try and use like, reuse the same things that I've already used like this Hula bronzer and I just try and use my same brushes. I don't try and bring like 5,000 brushes when I'm going places. So this also this um, brush that I'm using, it's just like a blending brush. It's Morphe M433. So I'm also gonna go in with this same MAC highlighter and I'm just gonna go into this brownish bronzy section and I'm gonna use that as an eyeshadow. I'm just gonna put it all over the lid. Then I'm just gonna squeeze the brush again like that and just put a little bit under my lower lash line on the outside. I'm gonna go in with this Buxom mascara. I'm getting mascara all over my eyelid. This happens every single time. So now I'm gonna fix that. Please ignore me while I fix this. Best things for last. Um, I'm gonna use this Mario Badescu spray that I um, had in my favorites video. It's the best and it just lets all my makeup like soak into my face I feel like. That's the finished look and then my hair is still wet for my shower but I'm not gonna do anything to it. I'm just gonna leave it natural. So that's my everyday makeup routine. I hope you guys liked it. Leave me a thumbs up and some comments down below because I really like to respond to those and also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this and have a great one. Bye guys!